Howdy all and welcome to Lax Lives. I'm Lacander and this is Black Plays Minecraft. So today we are going to look at maybe working on the wall. I think I want a wall around my um, my docks I've been working on and we're gonna work on the docks a little bit too. Uh, I'm not really sure how I want things to look yet. Um, I definitely, I definitely want, I've got a vague idea in my mind about, uh, oh, you know what I do need is, I need a bigger inventory is what I need. I got so much crap in here. Uh, I know this isn't, this isn't where this stuff goes, but I need room. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep those on me. Um, I'll keep the iron. I don't need the lily pad. Uh, oh, I already got like a ton of sticks. What I need is a ton of torches. Torches. All right. Uh, so, I need a little bit of uh, stone. Not stone. Is that what it's called? Stone? Stone uh, wall? I wonder if I still have stuff back at uh, Trapper Town I could be using. Oh, there's some cobblestone wall. I don't think there's an actual stone wall. Let's look. I've got... Uh, no, I don't have any stone. Not not here. Stone. I don't think there's a stone wall. Is there a stone wall? Uh, that's not a stone wall. That's not even how you make a wall. No, there's not stone. Is there a stone brick wall? No. So there's wood and, well, there's fence and cobble. Uh, what about, what about nether brick and nether rack? Nether rack wall? No. Nether brick wall. Ooh, there's nether brick fence. Hmm. Let me uh let me grab some of that. Uh actually let me just get the whole stack there. That could look pretty awesome actually. Let's go see what that looks like. Uh I am gonna swing out by by Trapper Town real quick. Uh just to see what we got in there. You know, I need to go right back over and look. Um Come here, Ransom. Nope, not big enough. Jump. Stand here for a second. Do I have cobble? I do. I need some cobble. Definitely need some cobble. If the... Well, no, I'm going to need the cobble for the wall. But if I can get some cobble wall... I don't... I remember I had a bunch. I just don't remember where I put it. So let's head back out to Trapper Town. Uh, I haven't built any of the road signs slash torches yet. Um, I still fully intend to do that. Man, Ransom so fast the server can't keep up with him. Uh, whoops. One side of the other, boy. I haven't been to Trapper Town since we last worked on it. I'm not done with it yet either. I got, I don't know, antsy to go on to the next project. Come on, server. Ransom won't go forward easily here because the server is getting all crazy. I uh, I don't have the best server. <laughs> um, I, actually, I actually bought a really cheap server because it's just vanilla. What do I got in here that's useful? Um, ooh, those bricks those bricks will probably come in handy. Um, I forgot about bricks. Oh, man. I've done turned all my clay into... Um, that might be handy. Stone. Let me take this oak wood with me. Uh, what's this? Block of coal. Well... That's useful. I don't know if it's important. Uh, what about 
on this one here. Uh, oh, we got some stairs. Might come in handy. Maybe it was just stairs I was thinking of. I don't seem to have any... Any, uh... Any cobblestone wall. I swear I had a bunch. Alright, well, I'm going to take what I got here. Um, I know there's some more useful stuff in there, but... Let's go... Oh, what is going on, man? It's really glitchy today. See that? Blah, blah. And then we're smooth, and then we're not. I must have a bad... I don't know. What time is it? I guess it's, uh... I guess it's that time of the day. Uh, you know, when your internet gets all overwhelmed by the sheer number of people using it. Uh, this is an issue with horses on slower connections. Not that I have a slow connection, but my server definitely has issues between about 5 and 9. Uh, so, this is the kind of stuff to get your animals killed. Uh, I did do something a little different with the bridge here, too. Um, I'm not sure if this is quite what I want either, but I do like that better than the plane. This is stone brick stairs, uh, some on the bottom, and then some upside down on top. But I don't know if that's quite what I'm looking for. Um, I might make some nether brick stairs to do the tops. So that might look cool. Uh, actually, you had no... Uh-oh. Trying to kill my donkey. They're trying really hard to kill my donkey. Get up here. I just need to get him over here and tie it up and then we'll be done you can stop having a hissy I wonder if it's my computer of course uh, somebody else is gonna have to answer that and the phone has not rung all day all day um, I got a phone call upstairs while I wasn't recording about 20 minutes ago and then that was it it was done and that's the only time it has rang all day uh, so this is what I've got done so far uh, I managed to oh I guess I should have showed you that while we're riding out here but I have lowered <laughs> I have lowered the level of blocks all along the waterway here all the way out to the lake where the ships are so that they uh, could technically float through here maybe I don't know I forget how far down the big one goes but the uh, you can see over there um, this whole area was one block below the water and now it's uh, at least three everywhere um, I did it in a couple of different ways uh, you saw me start over here um, right in here where I covered it over in dirt and then dug it up. Um, I guess I didn't finish digging this one up, did I? And then uh, uh, I'm not going to be able to jump up here now, am I? Nope. Wow, I'm going to have to swim way over here. Oh, I can get up here on the lily pads. And then uh, the other way I did it was just to uh, build up a platform to stand on and dig around it. That way seemed to work much better for me. So... Um, now, this is what I've got done so far on the docks. Uh, like I said, this area is going to be stone. And it just follows along the shoreline here. It goes out three. Um, and so what I wanted to see was... Oh, they're on Ransom. Ransom, I need my fencing. Thank you, Ransom. Uh... I want to see what this looks like out here. And I actually want to switch this off. I don't 
I don't think I... No, it doesn't even stick because this is not a full block. That's right. Um, but we can pretend. Um, I think that might look nice. Uh, I am going to probably... Well, I haven't run the... Whoa, I'm getting surrounded here. I haven't run out the actual docks yet. This is just a stone walk. Well, technically this is part of the dock because it's also going to be stone brick, but it's going to stick out a little ways. You know, like out to here for the cargo ships to pull up alongside and we'll do... Although technically they can just pull along here, but I'm going to at least run off the... Ooh, that guy didn't bounce back when I hit him with my sword. Um, do at least a couple off the ends here, and then, uh, you know, maybe a couple more off this way for smaller ships. And then we'll leave this side for major ship to pull into. And, uh, so this, this here won't change. Uh, I'll probably take out these lily pads, though, because we don't need those. But, uh, um... I want to do some kind of wall, maybe? Um, I mean, the wall is going to have to... I don't know. I'm, I'm really not sure what I want to do. I, I mean, I've got the road coming in here. I finished the stairs all along the outside. Um, so, you know, that's that's working. You forgot your boots, dude. And, um, hmm. so I really need to, I really need to decide how often to put down these mooring lines and mooring posts. I didn't read that wiki. I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, but so if I put one here, and then we put the post on it, and then we go back, mm, I'll say five. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's too close. We'll do seven. Seven will look better. Um... Yes, yes, I know. Your zombies. Rawr. Come on. I'm trying to film here, and you're interrupting me. And that thing there has got to die. I can't have a creeper exploding where I'm trying to work. I mean, I could, and I probably will eventually. Alright, let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Maybe? Uh, one, two, three, four, six. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Seven. And then we'll take out this oddball. I hear ya. Uh, I, I used like... Five iron shovels and... Four diamond shovels digging out all that. Oh, it, it took me like two hours of digging just dirt and sand and stuff out of the... All the way from here. All this out here was... Well, I mean, this here was natural. And this side was natural. But all this was one block deep. Um, and then it pretty much was one block deep. Except for a couple of deeper spots all the way back to the drawbridge. Uh, it was a lot of digging. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we put up one of the posts. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's perfect. Right at the corner. Yeah, and then we'll go this way. Oh, this one's gonna be harder. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven with a post. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what? This one's just going to be bigger. Uh, let's do one right here at the edge of this with a post. All right. 
Alright, so this side will be for bigger ships. Uh, look at all that XP over there I should go grab. Um, I want to get enough to, to do up another uh, diamond pick. So I'm trying to get 30. Uh, I had 28 when I did the shovels. And I enchanted a bunch of shovels trying for efficiency just to make it go faster. And I got efficiency on most of the shovels. The one I've got right now is just unbreaking. Um, but I did them all as really small. Really small enchants, like three levels or so. Uh, I got a couple of efficiency ones. Uh, no, I got three efficiency ones and one unbreaking. And this is all that's left of my fourth diamond shovel. And uh, so I used up, I actually used up three. Um, I'm probably going to pull out these uh, stones here at the back. Because um, I, well, I might not pull them out. Actually, what I'll probably do is I will add on top of them. But I was thinking maybe a... Um, <laughs> I don't have any on me. Whoop. I was thinking maybe I'd do the... Uh, whoops, I don't want to be on Ransom. I would do some cobble wall, maybe? Between them? Just like a separator between the... The dock? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like the way that looks, though. Um, oops. And then... Actually, though, you know what? Maybe I'll be doing stone brick steps instead uh, fine well let me do it with cobble since I don't have it on me so maybe I do this instead and then raise the center portion of this island up one so that it's a step down to the docks. I think I'd like that. And then, whoops. And then the wall can be placed in specific areas. I think that's what I'm going to do. I like that. Um, all right. Oh, why am I doing it in cobble? Cobble's not the stone I want to use. Let's get over here and we'll make up some... <laughs> I hit that wall. <laughs> Thud. Uh, stone brick stairs, you got some. Alright, in fact, you know what? Why don't you take some of this stuff here, Ransom, that I'm not going to use. Give me some of the stuff I do want to use. Now, I also need to get down under the water here, and every place there's one of these needs to be a pillar. Okay, there's already a pillar there. And... Oh, I kind of pillared in here already. Oh. Never mind. I was thinking I didn't pillar in the front. I know where I didn't pillar in the front. I remember why I was thinking I needed to put some more pillars in. It's at the corners. Can't have these corners not pillared in. It would not be structurally sound. Because, you know, this is structurally sound. <laughs> Uh, all right. So I guess uh, I we got about uh, well, we got a few minutes left here. Now I'm not gonna worry about this little bit here too much, but um, one of these two needs to be done in. So let's do this one. Uh, so I've been trying for like three episodes to talk about this book, and uh, I guess I talked about the first one, right? Um, name of the Wind. So the second one, um, this is the King Killer Chronicles. Um, 
the second one was called Wise Man's Fear. And uh, it was, you know, just a continuation of the last book. Um, they... Uh, they... Just have him uh, telling his story still. Um, of course, they keep getting interrupted by what's going on out in the world. And the uh, he's got this elf prince, or this, not elf, this fairy prince with him. And the fairy prince is worried about him. What is that? A mushroom just popped up. thought maybe that sheep laid an egg. Um... And, uh, the fairy prince says that, uh, let's see, I need to double that one, I think. And, uh, the fairy prince is worried about him, saying that, uh, if you tell a story to yourself long enough, then eventually that's what you are. And so this guy has been pretending to be an innkeeper for so long that he's becoming just a normal person. Uh, whereas, you know, he's actually something very special. And so the, uh, um, I think that's in the first book when the dude takes him into the, takes the chronicler into the back room is like, I'll kill you if you don't make him remember who he is, and, um, so, hmm, I'm gonna do this and take this one out, and so, uh, he continues the story, um, I gotta remember what happened, uh, I know it was something with him and Ambrose, that guy who's rich that hates him, and yeah, I like the way that looks. Uh, um, I don't think I have enough dirt here. Not that I'm not going to tear down part of that eventually, but uh, I didn't leave any dirt on you, did I? No. What about over here? Dirt. No. I don't have anything cooked up in here either. Alright, well, never mind on that. What I want to do is I want to put down, um... I want to put down some more of the docks. And, uh, so the... You know, the second book is... Is just more the first, really. Uh, it's, uh... He, uh gets sent off. Well, he doesn't get sent off. He decides to leave town for a while because his, uh, like I said, tuition's based off of how well you do on your exams and how well you're doing in school. And so they tell him that he's never going to be able to afford tuition if he doesn't take a term off because of how much trouble he's made for the college. And so he, uh, he uh, gets a message from one of his friends and his, he's like, I've got this guy who needs help and uh, he's in a far off country and so he goes out there and um, hijinks ensue. Uh, he helps save the guy from a poisoner and then the guy sends him off to take care of some bandits and he meets a fairy being and... Um, it's, uh, uh, and then he makes a bunch of money, and he returns back to the university, and, you know, so, um, he asks the guy about the Chandarin, and... Um, the guy doesn't really have any new information because there's not really... No, wait. Maybe that guy had information. There's this woman, though, in the book, and she's got this... Uh... Oh, and the girl is there, of course, the one that he's been chasing after, and she chases after him constantly, even though they'll 
never never be together um, and uh, she just happens to be in the country when he gets there and so uh, there's this woman there who uh, has a box called the lockless box and um, it's it's uh, like a puzzle box and so there's a trick to opening it but nobody knows what the trick is and so they uh, these little kids tell him a riddle at one point in the book which I'm pretty sure must be the way to open the box and you need uh, you need like a song and a word and um, stuff like that and uh, so they didn't open the box, but they sure made a big deal about it. And uh, and then he's got a box that he can't open at the moment in his in his room in the present day. Whoops. Um, I don't totally don't know what I was doing there. I wanted to put my potatoes down here because I'm about out of food. <laughs> I think that's too far without supports. I, I'm not going to put any supports. I do, however, need to put on... Uh, whoops. Put in... Some ladders is what I need. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Uh, oh, wait, I should just... What in the world am I doing? Somebody... Somebody explain to me how to play the game, because I apparently can't even line up my steps. Uh, anyways, and then he returns back to town with all this money, and, um, you know, he's called the name of the wind now a couple of times. And, uh, fine, whatever. You know what, I just wanted to back up here. This is fine. Um... And, uh, I don't know, there wasn't really any, anything amazing that happened in the book, I thought. Um, it was, it was a lot like the other one. It's, it's okay. Uh, I mean, it's, it's readable. I, you know, I've kind of been enjoying what's happening, but, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we'll take it to here, so we will put it back here. Um, so I'm not saying it's not a, a good read. Well, no, I am saying that. I'm saying it's not, it's not an amazing read. I actually want these you know, over one. It's an okay read. Um, if you like fantasy and you want to read something that's getting ready to be made into a TV show, apparently, go ahead, check them out. Um, they're, they're not bad. Uh, I just think that they're very unfocused. Um, he's got a little bit more information about the Chandran now. Uh, I guess my thing is is that I thought it was supposed to be a trilogy. Maybe it's not a trilogy. Maybe I'm confused at, by that. Maybe it's not a trilogy at all and it's going to be an epic series and that's why it's taken him so long to get any information. Um, yeah, I kind of like that with the dark fence post here. Uh... I just, I, I'm not going to leave these torches here. I don't like the torches on top of them, but, you know, if you don't light it up, uh, then the monsters will come out and tear your face off. Um, I only got one arrow. Hello, little guy. And, uh, but I mean, like, the in the first book, you know, it's all, oh, they killed my parents, I'm going to find them. And then, like, maybe a quarter of the way into the book, it's, uh, oh, yeah, I'm doing all this other stuff, so I don't have time to worry about somebody killed my parents. Who cares? They're just, you know, dead, whatever. And, uh, and then um, all he figures out in that book is that uh, 
nothing really yeah they have signs that happen around them like things die and it gets cold <laughs> um and uh but nobody knows if there's seven of them or 12 of them or um anything like that and uh so <laughs> you know um they don't know if each one has a single sign. He does find out who the leader of them is. Uh, and uh, and that the guy's been cursed to be shrouded in shadows forever. And uh, uh, so, you know, he does learn some things. But... Um, you know, he doesn't really seem to be very focused on finding out who killed his parents. Really? I know I heard you coming. I just didn't expect you to shove me off. And, uh... You know, I'm expecting a little more tracking down... information about the Shandarin, and he's got a... a poem from little kids, I think, at one point... He's got uh, what a girl remembered, ugh, what a girl remembered, as being on the side of a urn. Um, well, that is something that he has discovered, I guess. That was one major thing he's discovered. Oh, you cannot fight skeletons in the water. You can't fight skeletons in the water. Get to the land, man. Um, but uh, the the Shandarin are killing people who have dug up old tombs that have information about them in it. Uh, so he has done that. You know what? I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to do three wide. These ones on the end are fine, but I think I'm going to narrow these down to two wide. Um, and just, just make them a little thinner. And, uh, and I was trying to put in the, where I was going to have them, but, you know, stuff. Oh, man, I may have just killed myself. Oh, thank you. Uh, actually, I've got, I've got projectile protection on my armor, so that's helping me to, uh, not take as much damage. All right. Um, so I'm going to put one there and then we'll do, whoa, <sighs> sometimes we'll do one here, uh, and then we'll do one here, I guess, and they'll just be little slips for smaller boats on this side you know pleasure yachts and stuff um, I'll probably have to extend this out a little farther uh, just because of the the pleasure slips here but um, this stone isn't gonna go much farther around than this because uh, once we get over there to this swampy area that's actually gonna become uh, the wood docks over there where those trees are so that we can put in our lower class area of town. Um, but, uh, yeah, so he did uh, he did find out the Shandarin are killing people, and he did get some information from a girl about something she saw on a... Oh, man. So, oh, are you serious? Really? Something she's... Oh, this isn't... This isn't... Oh, that's, that's handy. Keep shooting him, will you? Oh, and then we got lag there. Please, no. Please, no. Thank you, skeleton. Get him! Shh. Oh, he dropped a record, thanks to that skeleton. If a skeleton kills a creeper, you get a record. I don't know why that's something, but that's something. Um, but he learned from this girl that they... Uh, some of their signs and... Because uh, she saw it on a vase that had been dug up from a dug up from a tomb and he learned that the Shannon were killing people who dug up in tombs and they killed his father for researching the Shandarin and that's pretty much all he's discovered in two books about 
Hunting for the Killers of His Parents. Two full books. Uh, all right, this episode's already gone too long, so uh, please click like if you like, subscribe, be sure and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later.